everybody, Dean Jackson here at the beautiful Bienville Plantation. I want to talk to you a little bit today about some new techniques we've been developing for the Eco Popper by Econet. Basically, you guys know about this. It's got the HD camera built in the back and it's got the Wi-Fi signal and you can throw it out there and get live streaming video footage right to your phone and follow me up and I'll show you how to connect it to your Lowrance in a later video. But for now, let's talk about this technique. Basically, we call it the mothership technique, and what we do is we take the hooks off, we tie a leader line to the back, and you can do it a couple different ways. I'm gonna try it today with a wacky rigged worm and a crankbait, and basically, you just rig it up with whatever size leader you feel like is gonna be effective in your area. Then you wanna go out and get your favorite type of bait. I'm a big UV. Um, fan they obviously reflect UV light so you get a little bit more bites from them and Just take the worm that you're going to use rig it on like you're normally going to use it and Then cast it out there Let it sink into the water and then you control with it a little bit and the fish will come up and you'll get some really neat footage where they come up behind the eco popper they see that tight lines UV bait and they grab it and swim away with it so not only will you get the strike video but you'll get a great fight video as it pulls through the water so we're gonna give it a try and I'll let you know how it works and we'll take a look at the video and you can decide for yourself if it's a technique that'll work for you all right so we got everything on and powered up you can look down here and you'll see that we can now watch it on our unit and it'll show whatever we're looking at including I'll just drop it in the water here to get you a little video footage of some vegetation down there you know so no matter what you're doing or what you're looking at you'll be able to see it on your big screen while you're fishing while you're checking stuff out we got live video streaming across our Lowrance HDS 12 carbon unit and you'll be able to fish it and stand up on the front deck and still have a good view of it and watch the fish come to you and see what's down there. I also like to use it when we're out pre-fishing for tournaments and stuff like that so that as we go down the bank if we get a strike we'll cast it back out there take a look at what vegetation might be in there and try to see maybe rocks or trees or what might be just below the surface that helped us get that bite so we can go down the lake and duplicate the pattern. All right, so this is the other technique we were talking about. We just showed you how to set it up with a wacky rig. It's really simple. You just do the same exact thing with a crankbait or spinner bait or any type of bait that you like. The, the camera angle on this does cover down at a really steep angle, but I still would recommend that you use something floating so that it can float back up into the view if it happens to dive a little too deep or something that's you know just gonna trail behind it and only run one to three feet deep or even, you know, if you've got the right conditions, you could put a longer leader so that it'll be down in that angle view where you can see it. But you'll find that the wide angle lens that they put in the back of these eco poppers really do cover a lot of water and they really do cover the bait in low light conditions. They'll even see through some dirty water. They've got a great camera in here. Let's get it out on the water and give it a test and see how it goes. There goes the last of the hydrilla, so I'm getting out here off the deeper edge. And out of nowhere, she comes up, takes a swat, misses it, heads back down to the deep. I miss this fish, but you can see that after it comes out of the shallows, this fish comes up off the deeper edge. This could be useful information later. All right, so here we go. We launch another one out after that. She gets to running, and bam see her come up from the background a little bit through there and just jack it um, right through here I'm battling to keep the lure up on the top of the water so that we can maintain a good image and get a good visual on the fight but it was pretty cool um, fish was a couple pounds not too big but definitely a good nice keeper we get a little spinny up through here because the line is just hanging and I grab instead of grabbing the eco popper like I normally do 
it's just hanging on the line while I try to get the fish off without getting one of those many treble that hooks in my hand. On the there we go. Popper. Using the mothership technique. Yeah. That is nice awesome. Oh, heavy Good fish. One. Good one, Dino. That's awesome. Camera's still recording too. Record that video. Woohoo! Mothership technique worked on the eco popper. That's this is a quick picture of one that missed it as I took it out of the water. All right, look who come and tried to track us down. The gators do love the top water action and they do come up and take a bite at it. We don't want to do that to them because we do have hooks in this and we don't want to harm any of the wildlife. So we're going to move to a different location. But if you're ever worried about the durability of it, check out one of our other videos where a gator bit it several times and the eco popper barely even had a scratch on it. Really interesting, it's really great footage and it'll show you how tough these baits really are. All right, here's some video footage shown on our Lowrance HDS-12 unit of Dean fishing the eco popper using the mothership method, trolling a 1.5 crankbait behind the eco popper. And you see we have real-time video footage of this bass coming up, striking the lure, getting hooked. And I have the eco popper to record real-time video footage of the fight all the way back to the boat. It's amazing. So neat what technology can do. You can fish the eco popper by itself with its own hooks as a topwater bait, or if they're not hitting topwater, simply troll with a bait behind the eco popper. Today we use this 1.5 crankbait. Dean caught this bass. You see the footage the whole time, the bass getting all the way to the boat. How cool is that? Really got to try the eco popper topwater. Go to EcoNet, look it up, get you one, hook it up to your low rants. Graph HGS Gen 12 in this case, so we have a nice big screen to view it on. Bring your kids, let them watch. Bring your kids with them. They can sit right here and watch just like they're watching on TV or a tablet. You can actually connect it to your iPad if you would like it better that way. Whatever you want to connect it to, you can watch that video live on screen. Makes a whole new experience for the children out there for sure. And some awesome footage for us. You know, if you're standing up on the front of the boat, it helps. You don't have to quite look down at the video you can just cast this little sucker out there leave your phone sitting there and watch your video footage live on your screen up to 16 18 inches electronics are coming out with nowadays so why not take advantage of the technology and make fishing more fun and a little bit better tool so you can catch more fish eco popper mm -hmm.